It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for joining us again. Our guest is Bob Huber. Bob is the mayor of Simi Valley. Sir, we thank you for joining us. Now, during these very difficult times, we think about what's happening in Japan and other places. A lot of people want to volunteer. They feel like they want to give back. Fortunately, if you live in Simi Valley, you can on April 16th from 830 to 1030 at Simi Valley City Hall. Tell us about the uh, Community Volunteer Fair. Yes, we're going to have uh, our first uh, annual uh, volunteer. First. Yes, Congratulations. it's going to be a volunteer day, actually. Uh, the fair is a separate thing that goes from, from 8.30 to 10.30, where people can come and they can get information and sign up to do various mm -hmm. things in, the, in, in terms of involvement in the community. The actual volunteer day is going to be all day long, and uh, we're excited about it. What can we do? i got to think there's so many exciting things to get involved with. Well, we're going to have a lot of options for people. Uh, if they go to the fair first, they'll have, they'll have the ability to do ongoing things throughout the year. In our community, we estimated uh, that we have had, uh, over the years, an average of 700 citizens uh, volunteering, 63,000 hours a year, to the, and, and if you put that in dollars, about $1.3 million a year. So our community does a lot of volunteering. Tell me why that is important. Uh, not only for the volunteer, we'll talk about what it does for the volunteer, but for the community, that sense of being involved. Well, in our community, we, we've been incorporated for 40 years, and people have been involved a lot. And we have a sense of community, so we have a lot of volunteerism, and we're trying to step it up and give the people the opportunity to know, because we have a lot of needs right now with the economy. And people are involved, and, and uh, they're giving back right now. And some people can't give back with their wallet, but they're giving back with their time. And I have to think, and you can attest to this, that giving back your time feels so much better than writing a check. There's something about it. Even if you could write a check for a million dollars, if you can give your time, it's so much more valuable it's to yourself. I agree. Tell it, me. I agree. And, uh, you know, that's our most precious commodity. Everybody, no matter what your station in life is, whether you're a billionaire or a pauper, we all have only 24 hours a day. That's our most precious commodity. And we have a lot of that time give back and, in our community. And it's interesting. I'll speak with people who volunteer and I'll say, well, you know, what is it like for those that you helped? And they'll say, you know, it was very important and it really made them feel good. But they say, but you know who felt better? I did. The volunteer so, did. And so I'm glad to see Simi Valley is making that a commitment for your community. And thank you for that. I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about uh, some budgetary issues in the state of California. As you know, there have been moves to eliminate redevelopment agencies. Those agencies help to... Um, repair blight in various areas uh, through the spending of tax dollars, property tax increment. Well, Simi Valley is beautiful. I'm sure it has no blight. There must be a few areas that could use improvement. And so I want to hear what your thoughts are about the move to eliminate redevelopment. I think it'll be a big mistake for the communities if the state does and take away redevelopment. Uh, there may be some tweaking of it and that we can live with that, mm -hmm. but to, take, to totally eliminate it, I think will not be good. It's more than just blight. It's enabled communities to do things that they couldn't have done without it. For instance, our senior center mm -hmm. was our first project and we have a wonderful senior center. Uh, for instance, our cultural arts center, that was used with uh, redevelopment money. And, and what's, what we're planning now, assuming we still have redevelopment money, is an under the one roof uh, facility which will house our nonprofits and give, I mean, this is our, this is our key. Our to volunteer helping. center. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And so redevelopment is taken away from us. I don't know if that's going to happen in our community. Have you spoken with your electeds in Sacramento to say, please don't let this happen because it seems as if everyone, you know, Democrat, Republican, they seem to be coming out against it. Have you made your voice heard? Uh, we have. And I also went uh, a few weeks ago, went to a uh, town hall meeting with Senator Tony Strickland, uh, who's from our area. Sure. He, he was conducting it, and I was there, and I, questions came up about redevelopment. And he sensed, his sense at that time, it's about three weeks ago, that that, that that would not be taken away. Mayor, thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Palmer. It's back to HLN. That was it.